arithmetic sequences. <clears throat> so a sequence is just a list of numbers, and it may or may not form a pattern. Okay, that's all it is, a list of numbers. So I could have 2, 4, 6, 9, 12. That's a sequence. Okay, um, There's not really any pattern to this sequence, um, but it is a sequence. Okay, um, A term is any number in the sequence. So this 2 is a term, this 4 is a term, 6 is a term. Each of these are terms. And we'll usually um, think of them in order. So this would be like term 1, term 2, term 3. Okay, this would be the next term, the next term, the previous term. Um, it's just some vocabulary that we use for the numbers in a sequence. All right. An arithmetic sequence is a special type of sequence. Um, it is special because each term, if I go back to my 2s and 4s, each term is um, different by the same amount as every other term. Right? So basically you're adding the same amount as you go up or subtracting the same amount as you go. Um, but the difference, the change between any two terms is the same. Right? So from 2 to 4, that's a plus 2. From 8 to 10, that's a plus 2. All right, it's going to be the same for any of my terms in my arithmetic sequence. Okay, and this plus two, that difference, right, between those two terms or any of those terms is called the common difference. Okay, and we often use d to represent that. That's going to be our variable that we use. Okay, so my common difference for this would be d equals two. All right, concept one, identifying arithmetic sequences. So when you are identifying whether a sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not, you are going to find the common difference, okay? So you go zero to three, that's an increase of three. Three to six, it's an increase of three. Six to nine, it's an increase of three. My mouse will work. Um, so I've got all of my terms with the same common difference. So this would be an arithmetic sequence. Sequence. 12 to 5, it's going to be minus 7. 5 to negative 2, another minus 7. Negative 2 to negative 9, another minus 7. All right, 1.3 to 1.6, that's an increase of 0.3. To 0 0.9 is another 0.3, and 2.2 is another 0.3. So these are all arithmetic sequences because they all have a common difference. Okay, using the common difference, we can find other terms in the sequence. Okay, so the next term in this one is going to be your last term plus the common difference. So 9 plus 3 be 12, and then the next one should be. 15, and the next one should be 18, okay? And often the questions um, in the book will ask you to write the next three terms, okay? Same thing over here, negative 9 minus 7 is going to be negative 16, and then negative 23, and then negative 30, okay? We don't need to do that one. It's basically the same. Um, but let's think about a real-world example for why we would use arithmetic sequences, um, why we would need to find terms in arithmetic sequences, and how that would help us. Um, recently, my dog got hit by a car. We live on East End, um, right next to East End Road right now. And so I want to put up a fence. Um, to do that, I want to make sure, so here's my house, right, and here's East End Road, which doesn't actually end, but you'll just have to excuse my drawing. There, East End Road goes by. Um, and I've got, there's a little kind of hill here with some grass, and she likes to run around up in here, and then 
Um, if she sees a moose or another dog on the other side, she likes to cross the road. So I want to put up a fence. Um, I want to put up a fence going along here. And I'm going to need to put stakes in. Okay. Um, in order to figure out how many stakes I need and um, where my stakes are going to be, it's basically going to be an arithmetic sequence. Okay. I'm going to start at whatever this um, is here. I guess I'll we'll just call this zero. Okay. This will be my zero feet. And then if I want to make it every five and a half feet, then I'm just going to use an arithmetic sequence. This will be 5.5. This next one would be at 11. This next one would be at 16.5. And then 22. Okay. And I'll just keep marching down. Um, the reason I don't want to just start here, measure 5.5 feet, dig this hole, and then do my next one is... Um, there's a lot of um, variability. If you're measuring each one, you're not going to get them all the same length. And if you can measure everything out and mark them ahead of time, then you can make sure that your fence is straight. Okay. So there's um, a lot of benefit to being able to do that ahead of time using an arithmetic sequence rather than just going through and adding and going to the next one because then you end up with a fence that looks like this. And nobody wants a fence that looks like that.